Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So apparently Microsoft is rolling out a Windows 11 update, which is KB5062324, to address an issue in Windows 11 24H2, where apparently Windows Update would not work. Where to be more specific, installations had a bug where update would get stuck or wouldn't work unless you reboot the system and then attempt to recheck for updates. Now KB5062324, according to Microsoft and the release notes, KB5062324 is a Windows configuration update that addresses an issue in Windows that can cause the scan for Windows updates to stop responding. Restart in Windows should allow the scan for Windows updates to be completed. And Microsoft says that a permanent resolution for this issue is contained in the May Windows non-security preview update. So if we head to our update history, which is this update, KB5058499, which rolled out on the 28th, 29th of May, depending on your region, or later updates. So Microsoft recommends you install the latest update for your device. Now take note that this bug only affects PCs with Windows 11 version 24H2. Older releases, as an example, like 23H2, are not affected according to Microsoft. Now I'm not seeing KB5062324 because I keep my device quite regularly updated. Um, I check for updates every day for the purpose of this channel. So if you haven't installed these updates, 505849 or any later update for whatever reason, you might still see KB5062324 if it's required for your PC, if you were experiencing that issue, as mentioned, on Windows 11 24H2. And there's a good chance that when it's installed, and by the way, it is, takes very quick to install, um, you don't have to restart your device. And I'm sure when it's installed, you will see it, if your device does get the update to fix that issue, you'll see it under other updates with other Windows configuration updates. So just giving you a heads up regarding that. So the long and the short is just make sure your 24H2 is up to date because that should resolve that issue where Windows Update would get stuck or wouldn't work unless you reboot the system. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.